Oh, ladies and gents. I am amped for The Northman. Are you? I hugely am. I cannot wait for this film. Robert Eggers, a auteur, a true, uh, I guess, visionary of our time, whether you like or dislike his films, it's undeniable that they have a certain flair. Now, him with a much higher budget away from A24, a little bit more commercialized, I think that offers a great opportunity for something thoroughly unique. Uh, and also, something great, uh, especially from the actor Alexander Skarsgård, uh, who has built my anticipation even further for this project, because he came out and uh, basically stated, Hollywood culture is incredibly ridiculous. Uh, he absolutely slams Hollywood, uh, celebrities in general, and just gives us a little insight into his mindset. And uh, There's also a little bit at the end of this, which will get you a little bit more amped for the film as well. I, I genuinely cannot wait for this film. It's one of the, well, it's one of my top, uh, one, of, one of the top films I'm looking forward to this year. Uh, I think it's going to be great. But anyway, so the Northman actor Alexander Skarsgård recently spilled the beans on what he described as incredibly ridiculous culture in Hollywood. Ah, what a great screenshot. Cannot wait for this film. But anyway. So while Skarsgård's comments might not surprise many, it is somewhat refreshing to hear actors criticising the morally bankrupt culture of Hollywood. You know what? We are getting more people come out now. This, well, people within the industry, Hollywood in general, coming out and just going, God, these people are insufferable douchebags. Um, so it is still a surprise. You know, it's, it's still quite rare that people come out and criticise these individuals because, again, you know, they get removed from the cool club. They, they get told they uh, can't be around anymore. They're not... Oh, not allowed. They're blacklisted. So good on uh, Skarsgård for saying these things. Skarsgård comments came in an interview with the Sunday Times while promoting the Northman. And he began by saying, the industry is incredibly ridiculous. Right. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you. And so he elaborated further and he said, in meetings, people are really insecure and eager to please. But it's a strict hierarchy. If people at the top say something is good then people fall in line. And this is why why inevitably we end up with such garbage movies um, nowadays is because people at the top have utterly no idea. They're so far removed. They spend way too long on Twitter. You know, most people think that that is, you know, that the loudest voices on Twitter are the majority. And that's why we end up with these garbage films promoting garbage ideas. Um, and also, like, it's not just that. They do genuinely want to push certain narratives as well. So yeah, shame. Now he didn't stop there and he went on to say, also, menial, trivial bullshit stuff becomes very important to people. As an actor, the value placed on how important something is can become laughable to me. Interesting. Uh, now with respect, to, like, with respect to that, I mean, I don't actually know what he's talking about there because that could mean so many things. Menial, trivial, bullshit stuff. Maybe that's to do with how actors are so bloody pompous and up themselves and they're like, no, I demand this coffee be here when I get here. And if they don't, then they throw a massive temper tantrum. Could be that. You know, we've heard incredible stories over the years from some actors that just refuse to do anything unless absolutely everything is in position uh, for them that they have deemed appropriate to start their day. Uh, so, yeah, who knows, in, you know, in fairness with that. And that could be any number of things. But he would say further about his personal lifestyle uh, and his reflection on work anyway. So he says, uh, I live an incredibly privileged life. I don't really have to work. I've made enough. Now, obviously, loads of people would roll their eyes at privilege, but he means literally saying that I don't have to work. I've made enough money. Uh, and he could retire, which is extraordinary. Which, yeah, I mean, that, that that is a privilege, isn't it? To be able to just go, no, I don't have to work anymore. Cheers, see you later. Um, and, you know, that it, it's interesting that he says this. And he goes on further to elaborate why he's saying this. Because he states, but I don't feel the need to broadcast that with expensive clothes or cars. Which you wouldn't. Like, I don't I don't think of Skarsgård as a hugely wealthy actor. You know, he's been in some, he's, he's been in some major things. But you wouldn't think that he'd... You know, he's earned enough to be able to retire and just do nothing now, would you? But obviously he has. And that's because he doesn't broadcast it around. Now he does say, and this is throwing shade at Hollywood, that radiates insecurity. When you see somebody with a £1 million watch 
that's peacocking. It can feel like they're overcompensating. <laughs> I absolutely love that. What a, what a legend. Um, so good. And again, what, a, what an epic post that this is. Glorious. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I just, it's so funny. These, I mean, that is the comments, you know, him throwing shade at uh, Hollywood in general. That's that done. Um, but again, genuinely cannot wait for this film because um, he does reveal some interesting elements about uh, the film in general. So, it, the production notes uh, provided by Focus Features for the film Scarsguard provided some details about his character. So, this is who he's going to be playing. Um, which I think is really interesting. So he says, The Vikings believed that some people had a spirit animal living within them that would manifest itself on occasion in different ways. For women, it was often a sea creature, but for men, it was a fox or wolf or bear. And in Amleth's case, his character, it's both wolf and bear, bear-wolf, if you will. Before the big raid on the Slav village, we watch him take on the strength and ferocity of a bear combined with the agility and nimbleness of a wolf. Cannot. Cannot fucking wait for this film! Yes. Uh, Skarsgård also likened the film to Hamlet, which, yeah, awesome, cool. And he says, the most famous story of family revenge in literature is Hamlet. Hamlet's key influence and predecessor is the Scandinavian legend of Amleth, and that's essentially the movie we've made, infusing the flavours of the old Norse myths with the dry, uh, laconic language of the Icelandic sagas and retaining the supernatural elements from the Amleth legend. So that's interesting. Uh, I didn't, you know, that there will absolutely be supernatural elements running through this film. I just, I honestly cannot wait for this film. Um, 22nd, yeah, I'm there. I'm absolutely there. I'm going to be there with a massive bag of popcorn. But I just love the fact, and this is what I mean, like, when actors come out and say this kind of stuff, this is where you go, oh yeah, I tell you what, I'm going to go, like, the film looked cool anyway, but then it just affirms that Alexander Skarsgård is a cool guy and absolutely has his head on his shoulders, knows what he's talking about. And, you know, he's completely self-aware of what he is residing in, i.e. the bullshit of Hollywood. Now, compare that, conversely, to Moon Knight's director that came out and basically slated a bunch of other projects for not filming in certain locations. And then it comes out, and then the actors in those, you know, in the series have said, yeah, no, we didn't film in London once. Like, you know, it just makes you go, no, I'm not interested. Like, I don't, you know, obviously I am watching Moon Knight, but do you see the difference? That like, this builds my anticipation. You know, he's talking like a badass. Obviously, it's not really, he's not like, oh, being badass. But he's saying things which are not often stated uh, in the media by actors. And it makes you go, yeah, I tell you what, I do want to watch this guy run around and murder people. It's going to be great. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. Are you anticipating this film? Uh, again, let me know. Give the video a like and please do share it. Cheers, guys. Take care.